Hey, 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 everybody, Michelle is here. So I want to say just a few things before I got my ass in the bed. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my goodness. I am really going to have to, um, after I get everything finished up here, go uh, get myself a massage or something. I think I may have injured my my right shoulder lifting and carrying on. But anyway, so... Uh, you know, when I think about the many things that I've been through in my life, it's like, wow, how in the hell did I survive this? And how the hell did I survive that? But you know why I was able to survive this and that and the other is that I, <clears throat> I always had good intentions. There was nothing nefarious about anything that I was doing. Now, um, in certain places, um, I remember, you know, I always... We all want things quickly now, and and trust me on that. Um, when I was uh, living with my parents, when my when my mom got sick, <laughs> I, that's when I started learning marketing. And I can remember fantasizing about all this stuff that you know that they were promising that could happen if you do this and do that and the other. And boy, did I. Uh, I participated in all of it, you know, because I mean, gosh, if this is, if it's that easy, what in the hell am I <laughs> missing out on? Right. And and that's what I thought I was doing. I was missing out on opportunities when I would sign up for these, these courses and these classes and then end up spending all this money and, and end up with nothing really. I mean, and that's why. I think marketing and marketing is marketing, marketing is marketing. There's no, um, I just don't think it's necessary to have marketing when you are a creative person. Um, your creativity is, is the market. And if, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't need a push of marketing at all. I don't, I don't trust marketing at all. Especially after the after today, it, it sealed it for me. It made it clear to me that I I just don't accept the concept of marketing at all. And what does that mean? That's just my theories and opinions, uh, because it doesn't re it, it this doesn't ever appear to bring the success as uh, that is often necessary. Like when you think about Madoff for a minute now. This man had billions and billions and billions of dollars of other people's money. And yet he still was not successful. And then he ruined his family in, in, in the process of all of that. You know, because he could have, I don't know why he couldn't have just taken a, a small chunk of that and then go somewhere. Just leave, leave the country. But no, he kept he kept the manipulation going and going and going. And supposedly the manip manipulation had been going on for, for, you know, forever. So, as much as I want to support people, I cannot support marketing at all. And so, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, because to me, it's always I've I've always seemed to be putting out more anyway, and 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 I never got the return expected. Never. Any of the marketing programs I participated in. So that's why I know it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people get, get into that. And mostly women. Women are the main ones that seem to always um, suffer the most re repercussions of it all. Always women. So, and it's because, because it's no matter what. It always seems to be the same concept. It's just a lot of spinning of words. And that's what it is. It's all just a bunch of spinning. But then when you listen to the presentations, it's all the same thing. There's nothing re there's no reinvention of the wheel. It's all about it's it's all about the same things. So in my in my thinking at that time, you know, thinking that you know I can get quick, I can get rich quick, you know, I was almost homeless, just like you know, just as easily I could have been. 
but thankfully um I was on it was an unsuspecting thing you know if you're an unsuspecting individual involved in a marketing scheme um you you know you you're not necessarily um to blame you know it's just a lesson to learn that's all it's just a lesson to learn and each time man it is that's the part that bothers me bothers me each time i feel enthusiastic about marketing it always tears it always sends me way back again to where i don't even want to touch it i don't even want to hear it i don't even want to even be involved in it because it's a, it's 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 just it's just smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors so um but like i said i can remember i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how many times and i give people the benefit of the doubt and so i don't have an issue with that i have no regrets about doing that kind of thing because i'm enthusiastic for people if they appear enthusiastic for what they're doing you know if they they feel as though it's a genuine um attempt to help people you know and help them succeed but if it turns out it's just, you know, so I can collect my fees and, you know, go on and on and on, <clears throat> then, you know, it's just the same game. You know, just dress differently. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how many times I got myself in some bullshit like that. Oh, but, you know, but that's, that's, um, that's just that's just that's just in my nature to want to help you know and assist people and support them my gosh right isn't that a, that's a that's a that's a wonderful those are wonderful qualities that i won't ever give up so it doesn't mean it won't happen to me again but i always laugh because god damn if people would just be honest and say look i need help paying my bills can you help me and let people say yes or no i'm gonna say no because um, helping someone pay their bills, I've been there, done that as well. And that almost drained me as well. So I'm going to say no on that. But maybe somebody else will say yes. Um, but um, this is amazing how it, how it still is going. And this was 20 years ago, almost, when I moved back in with my parents. Yeah, it was, yeah. And, uh, I, you know, and, and thankfully that was a perfect time for me to see the failures of it all. Okay. Because yes, I had a good job, but I didn't have that many expenses cause I was living with them. So I didn't have to pay that many. I didn't have to pay any bills at all, except some of the bills that I was accumulating. Um, it didn't come an issue about paying bills until my dad, you know, and his little drunken phases and stuff started harassing me about that and it was also time for me to go too because um my mom had recovered enough to where there was no need for me to still be staying at home with them damn people <laughs> driving me insane my dad was driving me insane my mom you know, oh my god and then everybody kept coming to the house too that's the part that was bothering me not so much of them I, mean, I was just i was just having fun talking about that but everybody thought they just had the right to come over to my parents house unannounced and that bothered me so much. But, you know, they, that's what they were used to, though. That's what they were used to. And that particular, and that's the thing about black culture. That was, that's that's how it was done because no, most people didn't have phones. You remember? Most people didn't have phones. So, um, so that was allowed. But at the same time, um, there was a, it, it, now it's, now it's, it's uh, out of control because now people can take advantage of that, that generosity and take advantage and just show up to somebody's house unannounced, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So that's the main reason why I left. I could have dealt with them, especially my dad and his carrying on, um, by just closing my my bedroom door. You know, when I was living in their house, I call it the pink room, the one I had a video, the pink room. That's where I spend most of my time anyway, writing and, uh, med you know, uh, advancing in meditation. But mainly writing, I mean, because at that time, stuff just kept coming out of me. That's how I was able to create those two books. And and I had information for three more, I think three more books, but I lost those, I lost all of that. And that's fine. I don't, I don't care. I still have writer's block. 
there's nothing that's taken me away from writer's block, I noticed. Um, and, and having the enthusiasm about writing. I don't have any enthusiasm about that. And I don't know if that'll come back, to be honest. I, I do have enthusiasm, enthusiasm for speaking. And, and whoever hears it, hears it. And whoever doesn't, doesn't. I know my voice travels. That's because that's our thoughts. Our thoughts are energy. And, and our thoughts and, and, and our voices and, you know, our senses are traveling regardless. So my vision, what I hear, what I uh, speak or hear. Yeah, what? Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm good. The senses, okay. Your senses travel, your thoughts travel. So nobody can suppress that. So, and that... This let me give you that consolation. No one can suppress your 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 uh, your speech, your vision, your hearing, your sensing and receiving. Okay, like I said, it could be a buried treasure, and at the right time, the right people will get a hold of it, and then it'll resonate and make sense. But anyway, uh, yeah. So when I was went back with my parents the second time, after, when my parents got sick, I was involved in so many marketing bullshit. And it was just it turned out to be smoke and mirrors and marketing scheme and most of the money was coming from me I, I generated no income from marketing now others may because they have the budget for it if you have a budget for it you may but the thing is at some point you, your budget is going to run out and the marketing is not going to even you're not going to even um, be able to afford marketing it or you're going to have to come up with other clever schemes and it's all schemes okay let's just be honest Marketing is a scheme and marketing is deceptive, deceptive. And, um, so if you're not going to genuinely cre recreate the will, please stop kidding yourselves. And I say this to women, stop it. Men somehow can get away with it because usually women are financing it for them where they don't have to do a goddamn thing, but run with it, you know? So that, you know, that was the revelation I got today. And, you know, it's like, oh. And I'm so glad because I, was, I wasn't feeling right. You know, so so the senses still were, thank, thankfully. Because I could have easily just said, okay, okay. I, child, please. <laughs> oh, God, you just have to, you know, and that's, that's what the life experiences will teach you. You know, there's no such thing as... Uh, something that sounds too good to be true there you know if it sounds too good to be true it sounds too good to be true trust that um i did have a uh, uh someone that i was going out with and um you know i knew they were struggling i knew they were struggling and so i did assist them but i didn't see them making any effort to resolve the struggling they just you know and so i made it clear and, you know, that was the end of that. And so I know, I know how to let go. Let's put it that way. I know how to let go. And, um, you know, smile about it and be thankful that my senses do work. Um, so, and that's all I can hope for, you know, that's all I can hope for. So I, 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 I come away with this, uh, marketing is a scheme. Marketing is, marketing is deceptive. And unless you're going to recreate the will and be, uh, uh, okay, first of all, what's the purpose of marketing? If someone's extremely creative, why do they need to market their creativity? That, I mean, it sounds almost contradicting because either, you know, if you, if you have it, you have it. Where's the marketing necessary? Now, if you have books to be published, that's different. If you have um, merchandise to be manufactured and that's different but does it need all this extreme marketing though it can it can it stand the test of time without it did did the people did soul music when soul music was uh uh being generated you know back in the 70s you know I mean, beyond that but you know during my my lifetime honey all, all you know all my mom had to know is there was a particular artist releasing a uh, releasing the album. My mom went out went out and supported that. 
Nobody needed to come and market shit to her. You know, if she supported somebody, if she supported someone, she supported them. And that's how I, that's how I am too. You know, um, I don't have to be marketed. You don't have to market shit to me. <laughs> if I support you, I support you. Um, you know, but th those days are gone though. Because like I said, we're so overpopulated, oversaturated. Everybody's trying to get on top. Everybody's trying to trend. Everybody's trying to, uh, uh, generate and, 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 and uh, collect followers, followers, followers. Um, and, um, but have a, I have, you know, you can have a, you know, I don't have an issue with people following because that's connectedness, but what is the intention? Is the intention nefarious? And that's only, that's, that's what an individual has to answer. What is your intentions here? Is it, are you trying to bring people together or are you trying to bring people together to get something out of them, to drain them, to steal from them, to take from them, to lie to them, to deceive them? What's your intention? And that's something you have to answer and you have to be able to sleep at night with the answers you, you that, that, that come out of you, you know, um, and it's amazing people when people are doing that because, um, you know, it's like they they don't hide it. They don't hide their deception. They don't hide their the manipulation. As a matter of fact, um, they draw in people to have them watch them do this type of thing. And because, uh, like I said, I I I was in all of it, and it's like, you know. So that makes me complicit. And so that's why I had to get out of it. I don't support none of that. I don't support none of it. And so that's why I had to get out of it. Um, I thought with self-publishing my books in the past, uh, that was uh, an independent effort. You know, because I, I was self-promoting myself. That. And self-promoting is fantastic. I, you know, that's the best marketing you can do is self-promoting. You don't need nobody's marketing to marketing for you. I know that's gonna hurt a lot of people in the bottom line, but okay. This is theories and theories and opinions, and this is based on almost twenty years plus myself. Um, and you know, I heard I heard someone say, and I'm not picking on them, but I can remember this person said it that they were freely. Promoting other people. And. Um, what's happening now? Though? Is that. Are you still doing the same thing? So. Hmm, it is amazing. And. Um, yeah. We're just going to have to stop with these contradictions. And um, masquerading. And fraudulent. And. Um, posturing ourselves. To be something we're not. And being honest. What is the what is the intentions? Um but anyway, like I said, I was more uh on the brink of homelessness dealing with marketing than any other any other work I did. That's why I, re, I that's why I'd rather do laborious work, even though it's you know even though it can be physically demanding, I'd rather do that than any, you know, quick, rich schemes. Um, because, th like I said, those those type of schemes almost led me to homelessness as well. Okay, uh, and being a highly functioning person, you know, uh, I'm not gonna allow that to happen. You know, I'm not gonna allow it to happen. So. It's, um, yeah, it is what it is, right? Isn't that what people say? And it's like, like I said, smoke and mirrors and, you, you know, people are trying to reproduce the irreprieve. I mean, there's nothing, people are trying to create something that's not, that that's not there materialistically. Okay. On a spiritual level, you can do that. On a spiritual level, you can recreate nothing into something 
But on a material that's on a, on a materialness, no, you cannot. You cannot. I mean, you can you can make it. You can make the promises that you are doing so, but in reality, it's just gains. So enjoy, peace and love. I'll be back.